Okay. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love it so much. It's better than being a dumb one. Well, we're back. Welcome to the Intelligent Donkey Hi. with Luna Rosa. That's me. The Dafter. Hello. And we just <laughs> got done recording one video, and you're seeing this another week here. So what? by the time you see this, it's probably going to be almost July. How can but we do that? <laughs> it's amazing. <gasps> the advances of modern technology. Who yeah. knew? <laughs> it's just called recording and then leaving it for later. Any which way, <laughs> oh, well. it probably won't be that long into the future. But um, <laughs> but any which way, we are doing a series of videos called Then and Now. Uh, we did wow. one for the band Rush playing the first song on their first album and then a song from their last album. Or yeah. It is their last album. They're not going to have any more, That's right. any more albums. But now we're going to shift gears and do a different then and now for... <laughs> BTS! Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. All right, pause it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, BTS. 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 Then and now. Then and now. So we are going to be, our, the first song we're going to be doing is No More Dream, which is what the song that they debuted with. Okay. Um, now, I'm probably going to upset people, but I don't fully understand how the debut thing works with uh, K-pop groups. It's like some members started and they put out a couple songs, but then other members e entered and then they finally, this is the song that they came out with all together. But like RM at this point had already been with the company for three years record do like training. They have okay. to train. They, they join the company and then they train and then they just kind of get put together. It's not like they form their own groups. They get put together with however this the company feels. It sounds suspiciously feels. like the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, similar. It's like that. It's like pop, you know. Um, and so they didn't get to choose who was with them or anything, and they just all got put together, and this is what came of it. So, yes. Um, well, what came of it is, of course, uh, you know, some great singing and dancing. Um, the number one rapping. music group in the entire world, modern day Beatles. <laughs> But when this song came out, it was kind of like the Rush one, where um, lots of groups debut. Very few of those groups actually make it past anywhere. BTS themselves almost didn't make it. Um, at, like they, they came out with this. It was pretty pretty okay received, but nah, not really. Okay. And then they had a couple more like duds, and they almost broke up. And then, um, then they started really hitting their stride, and they're the amazing group that we know today. So we're going to see the growth. I think a lot of groups went through that. When you see the Dream Theater version of this video, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm doing with Nana Ooh. next, um, yeah, you'll see a very similar thing mm -hmm. happen yeah. with them exactly it's, it's just and like I love watching videos of them now or like recently reacting to no more dream because they're cringing hard like they're they're like oh my god i can't believe i dressed like that oh my god i can't believe i sang like that i danced like that it's so cringy but i feel like if you're an artist and you don't cringe at your previous work then you have not grown as an artist and so the oh. fact that this is so cringy is what makes this so awesome <laughs> And this is what year? Uh, this came out in 2013. So when they debuted, it was 2013. And the main thing I want to focus on is uh, three of the four are minors when this came out. They were they were minors. So Jin and Suga were both 20. J-Hope was 19. RM was 18. But Jimin and V were only 17. And Jungkook was only 15 when they debuted. So this is a very young group of men at the time. <laughs> Boys, honestly. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah. So let's bring up the video here, such as it is. And you're going to probably see a big difference in just how they look and how young they are. And like RM's hair, we all, uh, BTS Army, we all know RM's hair in this video was, was something. <laughs> <laughs> 
but we he got past it. We got past it. We're all good now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's fire it up. This is called No More Dream, the official music video mm -hmm. from BTS. <laughs> The one who was driving the bus, that was Jin, astronaut, and um, okay, yeah, the, him. Look at how young he was. <laughs> What's up? What's up? This is Big Kid Exclusive. <laughs> As you can see, RM has always been uh, really good at rapping. Yes. That's why he joined this group, or that's why he ended up at uh, at uh, Hybe Labels. Now that's what it's called. But um, he, before he entered training in 2010, he was an underground rapper in Korea. So he's already established himself as a pretty good rapper but you can if you know <clears throat> rap you can hear the difference in his rapping as, oh, yeah. in the in the later years <laughs> <laughs> So that was 15 year old Jungkook. Um, in the early days, he mostly did rapping. And so he's the main one I want you to focus on when we watch the next one because, oh my god, his voice is incredible in the next one. So okay. I'm glad he stopped being a rapper and joined the vocal line because that's his true calling. <laughs> One thing, like the baseball. You like the baseball and that cool little effect. One thing that you still, like, they never changed is their silliness. <laughs> like, even though they barely knew each other in this video, like, they still have this, you, you could tell from the get-go that they were going to be a good group together. because oh, they, they have chemistry. They have that chemistry, exactly. They're just so silly and funny together, and it just works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, this is really hard. Look at this dance. <laughs> destroying stuff so at this time uh when this came out i know for sh for jin so sugar j-hope and rm made up the rap line and okay. uh i do believe that jimin and jungkook i don't know if they had a vocal line yet at this time they were still really into the hip-hop thing right. and so although there's still some singing in there yes there was a little singing uh, that, that's hip-hop so oh well, yeah. yeah yeah um but Jin and V, their only job was to look cute. <laughs> that was it. Like they that they they were part of the visual line, is what it's called. At right. that time, they. But then, come later years, we find out that both Jin and especially V have very incredible vocals, and they were able to join the vocal line. Then. And that's what you told me to watch for as we go into the second song. Yes. Uh, Give me the information about this one again. Okay, so this one is called On. Uh, for my BTS ARMY, you know exactly what song this is. I know this is not their newest song that has come out as a group, but I did not want to do Butter because I didn't know... I didn't think he would like it as much as On. Um, talking about how uh, Rush created so many anthems after Neil Peart joined, th this is an anthem. This okay. is like, oh my God... I'm so hyped up right now, I can't even help myself. But uh, there is rapping. You're going to get to hear how RM's rapping has changed. And Suga and J-Hopes, you're going to hear all of them. But J-Hope didn't have a... I don't think he had a too much of a uh, solo in this first song. But he will inside the second song. But <clears throat> Jungkook's, Jungkook's uh, solo in this song. I've had you actually listen to it before. Just the solo part for him, but... You might not remember. <laughs> okay. But anyways, this came out in 2020. It literally came out just before you, the United States went into lockdown. So February of 2020, so yeah. This yes, is, uh, they were in the U.S. at that time uh, promoting it. In fact, this manifesto, which is we're watching the manifesto version instead of the uh, actual one, but both of them, the actual official video and the manifesto, both came, were filmed here in the United States. Okay. So, yeah. So we have uh, On... Uh, from Kinetic or Manifesto is, Film. Yeah, it's just a kinetic. That's just what they call it. I don't know why it's called that, but apparently that's a thing. So I don't know. <laughs> now here it comes from BTS. With intro. Yes, same intro. What? <laughs> Oh yeah, they have a like a drum line. <laughs> I forgot that part. So that's V. Originally, he was meant to be just a visuals, and okay. he has incredible vocals. Yes. <laughs> There's RM. <laughs> That's now 22-year-old Jungkook. <laughs> okay. No, well, and he's 20, 23, so, or 24. So we're still young, but we're talking seven years later. Yes, exactly. Bring the pipe, no fear and violence, but 
fool with no matter what, nigga, but I don't, nigga, but I don't, I don't give a uh, I don't give a uh, I don't give a uh, yeah. Hey, na, 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 miss you, see, I know you're gonna meet you, yeah, hey. This was recorded somewhere in South Korea, or was this recorded in the United States? I'm not sure. Maybe in South Korea. Why? I'm just curious. Why the setting here? I'm not sure. This, the video was made in the U.S. Yes, this okay. was. Yes, this was done in the U.S. along with the other music video. But that okay. was that was the solo. So he's grown a De lot. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Ooh, his so that solo gives me chills. You talk about giving you chills. You're not just talking about the fact that it's cold in here. It, no, I'm not. <laughs> change is I didn't even realize this in both videos Jimin tries to take a shirt off <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, well, ay. All right. so there we go yes. you can see how much they have grown oh my yes even though it's only seven years not 38 years like uh, Rush oh, like was Rush. but <laughs> they've grown a lot <laughs> their, their, their whole sound seemed to change mm -hmm. um, this one is uh, much more melodic uh, Obviously, with less rap and more singing, yep. you get you get more melodic. Um, there's actually a harmonic progression uh, to things. It's uh, to me, uh, to use my terminology <laughs> that you'll see in other videos. Uh, it's a higher quality piece of music. Mm -hmm. But I also like the dancing more. I also like the variety of of singists or vocalers. Vo or yeah, whatever. <laughs> That one word, but yes, I did. That was another thing too that I really. That's why I didn't have the lyrics up because I really wanted you to focus on the sound and the dancing because you can see just how how much they have improved. At the beginning, Jin could barely even dance. Jim and RM both could barely dance, and then look at what they were doing inside this video just seven years later. Oh, like sure. it's amazing. <laughs> Lyrically, now I. Uh, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to the lyrics to tell. Were they singing mostly in Korean, weren't they? Yes, it was mostly Korean in both songs, but they have, uh, they've have they always had that little bit of English in, in each I'll one. Throw in a few phrases here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, exactly. So, yay! Yeah, this is a, I mean, neither one of the songs, I mean, to be perfectly honest, would, would land in my playlist. No. But, um... 
But to be yeah, fair, of the two, that's the more likely. Speaker. Definitely, the, <laughs> definitely the uh, the later of the two. Mm-hmm. You can uh, just see on. How, yes, on they they just have. It's just such an anthem. It's like, it gets you pumped up. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to start dancing and doing flips, too. <laughs> and they are good musicians, in the, at least in, the, in terms of their voices like that. But that's a musical instrument, too. Mm-hmm. you got to take care of that. Yep. Um, now, you said this was in 2020. Now, they've put out uh, some music since. Yes. Yeah, so, like, we've already reacted to Dynamite. Dynamite, So yep. that was one. And then they're, and they've put out a lot of solo stuff. Um, but their main song that came out uh, re- most recently is Butter. Yeah. And um, you've actually seen Butter, but you were also in the hospital at the time, so you probably don't remember much of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you might, maybe, I don't know if you like Butter. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. They almost, they, they should have gotten, uh, what is it? I, I do like butter, but uh, that <laughs> manifests Smooth itself in like a, butter. I like my belly here. <laughs> more than anything else. No, that's not the type of butter we're talking about. Yeah, but, I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, if you uh, liked these videos, if you liked the, uh, the way I reacted to them or what I have to say about them or what Luna Rosa <laughs> has to say about them, smash that like button. Woo-hoo! And uh, do the notification bell while you're at it and subscribe <laughs> uh, to this channel so you can hear more of this kind of thing. Yay! And you're going to be hearing one more video in this series, but with a different reactor. Okay. Um, just to give you a, a heads up preview, that will be with uh, Nana from Nana's Shenanigans uh, doing uh, Then and Now with Dream Theater, uh, doing uh, Pull Me Under. From their second album, there will be a reason I'll explain then why it's not from their first. Okay. And uh, the last song on their most recent, to date, album, A View from the Top of the World, uh, for that one. So, Alrighty. So Dream Theater fans, take note. Of course, I'm not sure how many people are fans of both BTS and Dream Theater, so I'm not sure how many people will, will get the message on this. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> Any which way, share this uh, video on social media, and uh, don't be a donkey of limited intelligence. Uh, instead, be an intelligent donkey. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>